let's move straight to June. We've got the amazing June, June Angeli Days, VC of Samos Investments and the founder of the totally inspirational Mums and Technology. She appeared on New Digital Age just yesterday. She's amazing and she now has 99 seconds to get a project across. June, over to you. All righty. Good afternoon, everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about how investors think about brand potential. Next slide. And the next slide. More than ever, what you do matters. We've been talking a lot in the investment world around accountability. It's our responsibility as investors to ensure we are backing good people. People who will build inclusive cultures, shaping teams that reflect the real world and the customers they serve. And we're going to have to operate like this going forward. And that's a good thing, surely. Next slide. And we often get asked how we know whether a brand will be successful. The question we try and answer is, what is magical about this product or service? It's more competitive now more than ever with more brands online. So how do you stand out? These are just a handful of examples where you look at the product and you instantly think of quality, great customer service, and they have made a strong name for themselves in their markets. Next slide. And finally, I strongly believe that the building blocks of the brand should be the community. The customers create the brand and they should be front and center now more than ever. Thank you so much for listening. I didn't get hooted. <laughs> get hooting. That's a bad start for me, but perfectly on time. <laughs> so listen, everyone, just to remind you, it's the start. The Q&A button at the bottom of your screen, ask questions. Well, there's a few coming in, but stop, start one from me, actually. I'll take the opportunity. So you started Mums in Technology, which I thought was just this inspirational thing. But how did you come up? you are doing the first place. It wasn't your natural sort of environment, I guess. How did you come up? No, not at all. I mean, I'd never created anything. I worked on the venture debt team at SVB, but I, I was on maternity leave and I realized that I was working with so many great companies, but I didn't know much about the technical side of things. And I wanted to learn and there just wasn't anything available for a mother to go along to with their baby. And I thought, well, I can either sit around here waiting for someone to create it or I can just do something. So I came up with the idea for a pilot, got an amazing venue, ThoughtWorks, who's a great technology consulting firm to give us space for eight weeks. And I crafted a curriculum that I wished had existed for me. And you know, over eight weeks, we would teach mums how to go from an idea to a product, whether it be a web service or a MVP of an app. But over that time, so many women were exposed to different elements of working in a technology company. Perfect. Very inspirational, as I say. Now, I've got a question here from Freddie, nice and broad, but I suppose you've got a right to answer. What brand has the most loyal community? Oh, I mean, just thinking of the Samos portfolio right now, I would say um, Bloom and Wild has been an impressive one. I would say they've they really understand their customers. You look at their Instagram and their social channels, and they 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 speak to them um, like their family. And I think that's really powerful. You know, when you think of brands, you think of how, how are you connecting with your user base? And, and I think they really get their customers because even in, in COVID, they are doing exceptionally well. And that says a lot about how they've thought about their brand and their community. Great example. Okay, I've got a question here from Robin. He says, I work in a startup. And I found things much harder investment wise during these last few months. What's your view on the future? Well, I'd say the you know funding economy is definitely back up and running. Obviously, there was a bit of a halt with people thinking about their existing portfolios, making sure everyone had the support they needed to be able to survive COVID. But I would say the last couple of weeks, everyone's talking about new deals. Everyone is, is ready to listen. So I would say don't despair. Definitely try and get your deck in front of people. In fact, have a look at debut sessions, which is running next week. And that's for companies that are raising under 750,000 pounds. So have a look on my Twitter feed and you see all the details there. Perfect, nice optimistic view. Uh, question here from Dominic, he asks, do you think a brand's community, community size and potential can be judged by its social channels and UGC it exists organically? That's a very good question. And we definitely see that there is a, a huge power in word of mouth, which is really impossible to, to measure. Yeah, when we're looking at brands, we do look at their social channels, but we do listen to the founder when they're telling us what they're hearing, the, you know, the, the chatter in the community and, and, and maybe by speaking to some of their customers, we get a real sense of that sort of brand loyalty and you know, net promoter score, which I think is really, really critical. 
Perfect. Uh, I think we're just out of time. So, Jean, thank you so much. Amazing start. Thank today. you. Thanks for having me.